Hey, Davey, looking just at Trey Turner and Juan Soto, what can you say about the way they tried to lead your ball club and, and uh, just lead the way as they were trying to claw back in this one? Uh, they're, I mean, they're, they're seeing the ball well. They're hitting the ball well. Um, both of those guys, I mean, you see Trey going opposite field, Homer working good at bats, and then Juan, he's just a special kid. I mean, um, he puts good at bats together. He you know, got power to all fields. Took a breaking ball at his last at bat and hit it to straightaway center in the bullpen. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. Jessica Camarado, LB.com. Hey, Davey, what is it about this ballpark you've spent a lot of time there? What is it about this ballpark that you think uh, makes it so Juan Soto friendly when he's at the plate? That, you know, he, he, he doesn't, he really doesn't try to do too much. He tries to stay in the middle of the field. I mean, um, left, left field, left center field, you know, the ball carries out that way. So he just tries to stay in the middle of the field and, um, and he sees the ball really well here. Um, it's a good ballpark to hit in. Um, he likes coming here and he likes in here. How do you see the way that maybe the momentum is contagious between Juan and a uh, Trey? Yeah, I mean, it's no, it's no, um, they, they both feed, are feeding off each other right now. You know, um, Trey's getting good pitches to hit because Juan's behind him. And uh, when Trey gets on, you know, uh, so does get a pitch to. So, I mean, that's, that's how it works. I mean, that's kind of why I wanted those two guys, you know, I want to want to hit second. Um, you know, we, we need them to get pitched to. And uh, so far it's been working out. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. David, when you do get that much production out of your top two guys, how frustrating is it to still lose by two runs? I mean, they, they combine for five RBIs, two home runs. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot from those just two batting order spots. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's um, the frustrating part is that, you know, we talked about this before. We're, 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 we're just falling behind early in the game and you're playing catch up. Um, you know, you, you, we got to, you know, we got to get, you know, some of these guys to understand, you know, that, you know, the big innings want to kill us. Um, we got to get them on the stand and keep us in the game. Or, or we're going to score runs. As we talked about this earlier. We're swinging the bats. You know, we're, we're going to score some runs, uh, but we got we got to we got to limit the damage. You know, I had a good conversation with Fetty after he came out of the game about certain things. So hope, hopefully it resonates. Um, I thought you know you made a couple of mistakes, but he, he went to six innings. But you know he had one bad inning. I mean, um, but you know we got we got to live and learn. I mean he's still young, so. Um, hopefully his next inning, uh, he understands what we're trying to get out of him, and he goes out there and, and shuts the door down. When you when he is pretty sharp outside of that one inning, what what snowballs in that one frame where he can't really control the damage there? It just the ball, he gets the you know you see you see him he gets the ball up, he falls behind him, and he starts falling behind. You know he, he's got to throw strikes, and then uh, he gets he gets the ball up. Um, his location, he starts losing a little bit of location. So uh, you know when when things start happening. Uh, as I talk to him, it's it's when you really got to start slowing things down and understanding, hey, let's just limit the damage and uh, and just try to you know try to get out. He's a ground ball pitcher when he's good. Just try to try to get ground balls and try to get you know two outs with one one pitch. Thank you, Mark Stockerman, MassSports.com. With Fetty, I don't think he had to pitch out of the stretch until that inning uh, where that rally came about. Is, is there something about once he gets to that? Uh, position that he's having more trouble throwing strike one? Uh, you know, I, I, I honestly think he, if if you look at his track record, it seems like there's always one inning where he, he goes through a little bit of a funk. And that's why I try to talk to him today about, hey, just like I said, limit the damage. You know, you, you don't worry about, you know, just get, get to the next pitch. Don't, don't, if you give up one run, you give up one run, but try to limit the damage. You know, he gets up there and he starts, trying to make the perfect pitch and uh, it doesn't happen that way. You know, just keep pitching the way you, you pitched before. Um, he's pitched from the stretch, you know, plenty. He's done well. So I just, I just think he just has that one snowball inning when he goes out there and he just, he tries to make up for it by, by doing things that, you know, by speed, trying to speed up instead of slow things down and let him understand, Hey, I'm a, like I said, he's a ground ball pitcher. Let me get the ball down. Let me keep the ball down and, um, and try to get that ground ball. On a uh, more upbeat note, that looked like maybe Doolittle's best inning we've seen from him um, this year. Throwing, being able to go down and away to hitters and, and paint the bottom of the strike zone, uh, how crucial do you think that that could be for him if he can 
incorporate that into what he has normally done. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's awesome. That's something that we, we talked to him about. Um, and he's got, he's getting it. I mean, you know, he still has a lot of carry on his fastball, even though the velo is not there, his spin rate is still pretty good. Um, and when he, if he could dot, you know, the outside corner like that to lefties and also throw, he threw a couple of nice sliders too. Um, he could be effective and, uh, and still could go up with two strikes when he wants to, you know? So, I mean, today was awesome. You know, and I'm proud of him. You know, he's fighting to get back. He's fighting to help us. Um, and today, today was just, uh, I was real happy to see him. You know, he had a smile on his face when he came off the field and, and he looked good. So, you know, I mean, he's, he's going to be okay. He, he understands what he needs to do. It's just a different, different dude now. You know, he can't just go blow everybody away, even though he looked like it today, but he spotted his pitches up really nicely.